Hi, welcome to your online human physiology course. I am your instructor, Professor Cynthia Sanchez. I'm going to give you a quick overview so you can understand where to find the things that you need for the course, get you oriented to the layout of the course so that you can be successful. This course is conducted completely online. This includes lectures and laboratories. You will need to have internet access and access to a computer in order to successfully complete this course. To begin, you're going to open your web browser. Navigate to your MyCMC homepage or cmccd.edu. Then you may click on My CMC Portal and you're going to log in with your username and password. This is the same username and password that you use to access your Copper Mountain College email account. Once you have logged in, you will see on your far right hand side a box that says Campus Links. You're going to want to click on Canvas. You may want to go ahead and bookmark this page so that you can have easier access to your course in the future. Now your screen is going to look a little bit different than mine, but you will find 2020 Summer Bio 23 Human Physiology. That is our course. So we click on that here. The home page has a couple of quick links. There's also a link here to give you more information about Canvas basics, including the Canvas student guide. Let's start with the syllabus. When you click on the syllabus, you will see a bunch of different links so that you can easily find what you need quickly. We do have a required textbook for the course. This can be found here. Now I have written all of your quizzes and exams based off of the study guides that are available to you on Canvas. Let's return to our syllabus. If you click on about your instructor, you will see a short bio here along with office hours. If you would like to meet with me in a time that is not one of my office hours, please let me know and we'll schedule an appointment. Office hours will be held either via email, Skype, or chat. I can also be reached on my campus phone number at extension 0259 and my campus email. As a student in an online class, I expect that you would be emailing me very often. Let's go ahead and start with looking at the layout of the course. So when you click on course schedule. This is a seven week course. So the way that this course is set up is you will be covering three chapters from your textbook per week in addition to doing two laboratories. The assignments that are due every week for each module one through six are as follows. Each week is going to have a discussion question, three chapter quizzes, and one module exam. In addition to those, you will have two virtual laboratories to complete and you will need to answer or enter your laboratories online here through Canvas. Now, as we scroll down, you'll see that module seven is set up a little bit differently. This is because we actually end this summer course on a Thursday, July 30th. And this final week, you should be working on your clinical case study PowerPoint presentation and your clinical case study essay as your final project. The best way to navigate this course is to go to modules. When you go to modules, you will see something similar to what you see here. Now each one of these boxes can open and close. Now this first tab just has quick information about the course and how to reach your instructor. This next tab starts module one. Here's where you should begin. If we go ahead and expand module one, we can get a layout of everything that we need to do for week one. All of the week one material will be due Sunday of that week and for your convenience I have the dates of the week posted here in the module title. Each module will cover three chapters. Let's just start with chapter one. When you click on chapter one, you will see some learning objectives and a summary. When you are done reading over this, you can click next. Next, you will see the study guides based on the material presented in the chapter you are on. For your convenience, I have also provided a link so that you can download the entire chapter study guide on each of these study guide pages. Read through the study guides and when you are done, click next. Next, you will see some optional videos which may make the information presented in the chapters easier to understand. When you are done with this page, click next. 
Once you are done reading the chapter, looking over the study guides, and seeing the videos, you will reach your chapter quiz. Each chapter quiz is relatively short, 10 or less questions in each. Each chapter quiz is worth 10 points. Now don't forget you have three chapters we're covering each week along with three chapter quizzes. Let's go back to modules. So once you have finished one chapter, you will go on to the next chapter followed by that chapter quiz and then your third chapter of the week and that quiz. When you are done with all three chapter quizzes, then you may proceed to the module one discussion question. When you click on the module one discussion question, you'll see that there is a question that you should post the answer to on the discussion page. You do this by clicking on reply, type in your reply, and then hit post reply and you'll be able to see your reply here. Keep in mind that you will not be able to see others' answers until after you have posted your discussion answer. When you are done with this, click next. Next, we have our module one exam. The module exams are going to cover all of the chapters that were covered that week. The week module exams are usually around 10 questions or less, and they will contain short answer or essay questions. When you are done, you can click next. Next, you will see the labs for the week. You will have videos, instructions, interactive online activities, follow the instructions, perform the activity. When you are done with your lab, click Next, and then you will begin your write-up questions. You can just click Next when you're done. For your second lab of that module, perform the next lab activity, and then proceed to the Lab 2 write-up questions to complete. Let's go back to modules. Each of the weekly modules are set up in the same way that you just saw. Module 7, however, is unique. This will be our finals week. You will choose one clinical case study. You can find the case studies on your own, or for your convenience, you may choose any of the clinical case studies here. Let's say that you were interested in Chemical Eric. You can click on that, and this will take you to a separate site. Once you are here, look at View Resource and click on the link. Once you have clicked on the link, you can download the case. You can use these clinical case studies as the basis for your case study PowerPoint and case study essay. You will want to have at least three references in order to get full credit for the clinical case study essay and the clinical case study PowerPoint. Once you have found the clinical case study that you want to do, you can begin completing your assignment. I have provided a clinical case study PowerPoint template that you may download and use for your PowerPoint presentation. There is also a detailed rubric for you to follow. When you are ready to upload your PowerPoint document, you can navigate here. When you are ready, you will just click Choose a File, navigate to the file that you have, and click Submit Quiz. I have also provided a Word document template for your clinical case study essay. When you are ready to submit your clinical case study essay, you can click here, click on Choose a File, navigate to your file, and when you are done, hit Submit. I wish you all great success with this course. Thank you for watching.